What's going on guys? Rogue Hero here. So, as you guys can see, I'm getting pulled over. Okay, I'm lying. I ain't getting pulled over. I'm actually, you guys can see right here, I'm actually at Top Cut Comics. Literally two people already in freaking line for the locals, my man. Two people already in line for the freaking locals. And guess what time it is, y'all? It is not 11.43. My clock is an hour ahead. It, it is actually 10.43. So, yeah, it's real out here in these Yu-Gi-Oh streets for Chicago. We got locals back for you guys that do not know and literally um 12 man cap so unlike la unlike last time when i got here and it was a line wrapped around the corner your boy is getting here early so he can compete and try to win this box so with all that being said let's get into it without further ado let's begin as you guys see we still outside motherfuckers talking and shit waiting what up aaron hey, the camera. what's up bro i don't know you think i had the camera too but yeah man real life helping these yugi oh streets man real life help. See you guys in the next clip. All right, just got done conversating with these guys. I don't like having camera all in people's face, but yeah, man. Like I said, yo, is it getting real? Your boy needs some coffee. I haven't been to Starbucks in forever, so let's see what they got, man. Oh, wrong lock. All right, guys, Starbucks is a freaking bus. Apparently they're closed, even though I just saw a lady get her coffee. I don't know, whatever. Maybe she ordered online or they just hooked her up. But you'll be about to walk in 7-Eleven, so y'all stay tuned. Hey, it's me. Bro, that sound is so annoying. Energy drink or no? I want coffee though, bro. These little cans are good, but they're a little, a little overpriced for what they are. Uh, yeah, screw coffee. Red Bull is gonna be the move, bro. I need, uh, hope I ain't break that door. We're gonna get this one right here. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting this back because literally it just freaking stuff. Oh, 7-Eleven has a coffee bar, so I, I freaking tweaked. Over here, bro. Over here. Coffee bar and 7-Eleven. Can't beat it, man. You really can't beat it, bro. Can't beat it at all. Hell yeah. Freaking beautiful. Look at that crema, bro. That's what's called crema, bro, coffee. Freaking amazing. I might do a slow-mo sound of this. This is freaking sick. Hell yeah. Bro, don't sleep on 7-Eleven coffee, man. And I literally, I leave for like a minute. And like the damn tournament's almost full up. Let me get my ass back in the line. I'll see you guys in the next clip. The future is now, boys. He's playing Pokemon on his phone. That is freaking sick. Network had sex, so people weren't still playing Ghost Ogre, bro. Oh, I played, oh, I smacked that shit. I, I played that one Ghost Ogre. For that sexual bullshit. We always drew it. Now we drew it. Like, yes, sir. Yes, yes, Which one? one? Yeah. one? Now what? You teaching this man your tricks? <laughs> Too early in the morning for that. So, shit. Dog somebody boy. getting into Damn, it. Damn, somebody. Dogging him, boy. Bro, that's embarrassing, dog. Get it all on it's camera, too. too. Early in the <laughs> 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 Definitely going in the vlog. Definitely going in the vlog. This is content. <laughs> this is Chicago, bro. Content, boy. Don't let her do that to you, big dog. Don't let her do that to you, big dog. Oh. <laughs> Who are far to petty, bro? Who are far to petty, bro? The air just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Bro, just came out of we just got a taste of what Yu-Gi-Oh players are like, bro. <laughs> That's embarrassing, man. Yo! He go right to go left. Shit. Snatch her wig, shit. Don't even. You fucking my brother. <laughs> you pet. Hey, I hey, got some too. Hey, don't, hey, don't, even, don't even get into that, bro. <laughs> don't even get into that, bro. <laughs> bro, hilarious. This is crazy, bro. <laughs> Nah, uh, he, he cheated. Either he cheated. Either he cheated. Or he cheated or nah, or she's just acting stupid and she ain't letting him walk away. That's bull. Boys are gonna take Bro, the fucking thing. The fucking thing. One month to the forehead. She took the key. She took the key. Because if I would have had the key, I would have thrown the fuck off. Bro, facts, bro. That, that's probably Hakado. You can never know. Yeah, I know, right? That's probably Hakado. That's crazy, bro. Bro, that's crazy, man. Damn, was another person in the car? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Bro, this is. Oh shit! Oh, she hold on. I think that's the phone. That's the phone. Oh, she cheated. Oh, oh snap! <laughs> bro, now, that was uh, she cheated. <laughs> she cheated. She cheated. phone. Holy crap, it's bro! It's too early in the morning. For bro, it's not even 12 o'clock yet, G. Right, it's not even 12. Look at these cars need to get out the way. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, 
G, this is why I don't like getting into it with chicks, bro. Like, she is not letting the man walk away. Bro, everybody stopping their cars and looking like that's Bro, so let that man walk away. <laughs> you go. He record. He got his camera out too. <laughs> oh, they love. They love each other. They love each other. She now. She's trying to get soft with him now. She must have did something dirty. Hey, don't even get that. Kramer, you bro. Let's get. Bro, Kramer. They, hey. Hey, bro. That's right. Bro, that's racist, dog. That's racist, dog. Hey, that's racist, dog. Bro. <laughs> Over there and he said, Yo, KFC clothes. Bro, that's right. <laughs> they were walking through the door. They were. They looked like they were. Uh, <laughs> that, that was a KFC though. Oh, that If you don't want her, I take her, bro. Bro, y'all crazy, bro. Bro, yeah. bro. Dude, goofy as hell. He went to White Castle to argue with his chick, bro. He went from the old KFC to White Castle. Bro, you bogus for making that man go to White Castle, Kramer. <laughs> you bogus, Kramer. Kramer bogus. Bro, bro, that, bro, that's that's crazy, bro. They got the whole cops out. Oh yeah. I feel bad for him though, bro. Y'all don't even know what's going on, man. But the minute that man comes over here, you ain't gonna say shit. Right. black man. That was him right there. That was not a black dude right there, big dog. Oh man. You gonna hit him with a stunner? That's your that weak ass stunner. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Dude, goofy. I ain't finna argue with no chicken in the suburb. That's goofy, bro. Finally, finally in the shop after that long ratchetness outside. Time to sign up for the tournament. <laughs> what was it? What were you saying, bro? Huh? What you saying, bro? Oh shit! <laughs> World stuff. What up, bro? Alright, y'all. So I just finished doing my live stream, man. That was an awesome live stream talking to y'all. But yeah, man, it's time to go to locals and kick some butt. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next club. I most definitely just got knee rule first time. Great. Uh, That's fine. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Weak, sick, freaking field. My homie Nebru, me, I got 750 life points, bro. <laughs> Dude, super serious game going over here, man. Who winning? You got it? And you lost Aaron? Finally broke my curse. Facts, man. Good shit, bro. Hi, right, y'all. So round one is over. Ended up playing against Invoke Dogmatica, bro. That was a freaking intense game. So sick shirt, man. Check it out. Anyway, game one. I got Nibiru. This is for, and this, I want to record this scene for all the people who say, oh, you heroes lose to Nibiru, heroes lose to Nibiru. So I got Nibiru, right? Okay, I was going to scoop. I didn't scoop. I had no. I had two mass chains set, two cosmic cyclones. I'm like, okay, cool. Pass. If you, you beat me, you beat me. He summons big old dogmatic field, has like a bunch of monsters on board. Essentially, he goes and try to attack for game, leave me down a 750. He couldn't kill me. So after I got that taken care of, I had to increase. He thought about negating increase, didn't negate increase, he passed her. He had one card in hand, he set one. I in phase, no, nah, he gave me down to 1750. I in phase Cosmic Cyclone. Got rid of his shout out card face down. My turn, draw. Freaking top deck, Hero Lives, bro. Let's get it. So, play Hero Lives, he could. He didn't have to negate. I thought it was gonna get negated, but he didn't have to negate. Brung out Stratos, he negated Stratos, I chain increase, tribute Stratos. Bring out Increase, bring out Vion, Vion Sins, and Shadow Mist, go grab Bane. Mind you, I have two mass chains set. Bring out Bane, after Bane blow up board, he tried to negate Bane with something else. I chain mass change, bring, he, no, he tried to negate Bane with a, a Dogmatical monster he had in his hand. Because that Dogmatical monster is specifically has to target. Long story short, mass change Bane, Bane resolve, blow up board, he negated Dark Loss, so his monster didn't get banished. People keep on trying to get him out that parkway. So I thought I'd get rid of his board. Pretty much OTK'd him on the spot. And I got game one. Like I was I thought I was gonna lose, came back and won. Then game two, he kind of bricked. And I had double negate. I had infinite impermanence and I had Ash Blossom. So double negate. He sat one, played his monster, pass, and I just OTK'd him. So three more rounds left. Box tournament so far so good, man. I'm gonna see you guys on the next club. For everybody who wants to see the whole of my locals, wide angle view of the locals. Pretty big locals, man. Pretty big. Usually have more people, but yeah. Stuff happens. Waiting for the next round to start. And yeah. Let's see you guys in the next clip. Well, hold on. Let's just take a, a view, a walkthrough of the locals. Matter of fact, hold that thought.
so yeah so nice this is the entire top cut bro broken stuff good stuff in it. come check this stuff out stuff is always cool always good front of the store second room usually have game systems and stuff set up but yeah this is pretty much yeah empty right now but usually this is all the smash brother stuff be happening in a lot of people be coming here to play for smash brothers on a weekday sometimes pretty big game room man but yeah pretty cool love this place but yeah show you guys everything quick walk through quick walk through tim in the background random customer thing and get them in here and yeah man it's pretty much top cut in a nutshell man come check it out one of the best shops in chicago bro well not chicago but berwin actually it's the best shop in berwin illinois but yeah they got buzz lightyear stuff bro they got goku stuff they got gundam stuff all kind of hey, that's a sick freaking shirt for four x for japanese size i don't know man might cop that might not we don't know yet big dog we don't know yet but yeah man all the goodies here all the goodies indeed okay i had to get this wall this wall is amazing a lot of good stuff they always update it too man pretty sick bro like i said this is non-sponsored this is advertising i like the shop pretty cool support those who support you and let you record in peace this is batman statue is freaking sick bro that is sick batman memorial statue bro spider-man yeah cool stuff and then over here is just nothing really man so yeah good stuff man good stuff my man just super calling me with zombie world and i couldn't even do anything because he changed everything balls all right man so round two is over i'm an idiot bro i'm gonna tell you about that game. I, I lost Ooh, that's a sick fucking whip Ooh, that's a nice mustang mustang game might a little bit sick but anyway man I played against Zombies, Eldritch, bro. I was pretty much got game one, right? I pretty much OTK'd. And then game two roll around, complete freaking brick, bro. Brick City, I drew all combo pieces. No, I drew all cards that needed other cards to work. I almost came back game two with the OTK, but he had, cause I had um, sided in that trap and negate all traps, but he had double judgment set, so. And then game three, I had Dark Cloud Sunriser Plasma Combo. Now, mind you, game one, he goes Super Poly with Zombie World on the board. I'm thinking to myself, well, if he opens up Zombie World and Super Poly, I'm screwed regardless. But I'm also thinking to myself, maybe I should reserve my hand just in case he has Super Poly and he don't have Zombie World. So I thought about it for a minute. My goofy behind just pretty much said, screw it. I'm just gonna do whatever. Made Dark Law Sunriser Plasma. And essentially, he yeah, has super probably got rid of my monsters, wrung out, starving venom, and yeah, man. That was all she wrote. But the, the fact of the matter is, even he told me, like, he was like, um, honestly, if you didn't overextend, you probably would have got it. Because literally, I could have, my ending board was Plasma, Sunriser, I had Mass Change, and Cosmic Cyclone set. So he couldn't, his super probably would have been useless. He would have just set a bunch of stuff past. And I could just been eating at his back row with Sunriser. Big mistake on my part, bro. Like, I don't see, I, I don't know what the F I was thinking. I'm always play erroring up his like this is this local give me bad juju, man. Bad juju, because I'm always play erroring, bro. But you live and learn from your players. Probably cause I ain't got no sleep and I ain't ate nothing. I ain't no, I don't know, man. I ain't gonna make no excuses though. It is what it is because literally at the end of the day, we all play errors. Some stuff happens, man. I mean it's locals. I just wanted to win that box! But now I'm probably gonna have to settle for like 12 packs. But anyway, man, should be like two or three more rounds left. 12 man tourney. I'm gonna see you guys on the next clip. And Tanky is Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. This was a lit fucking game. Literally, I top deck Fusion Destiny for the burn damage, bro. He literally was whooping my ASS, man. Good game, bro. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Round three is over. As you guys can see, I beat Eldritch Pure. No, it's not even pure burden. I just beat Eldritch. Um, I forgot what variant he ran. I just beat it. Game one, um, pretty much beat him. He bricked and I just beat him. Game two, he, we went back and forth. What the hell? Went back and forth, but he ended up getting it. Game three, I don't know if we went to game three. I don't know, bro, I'm exhausted, bro. I just know I beat Eldritch, man. I don't even know what happened. My mind just split like that. So one more round to go, man. Try to finish X1 to get some packs because I can't freaking get the box because I can't freaking play right, all right? Mm, so yeah. Weak sauce, man. Weak sauce. But yeah, man. I'm gonna see you guys in the next club. Your boy's exhausted. Freaking. Okay, that's fine. 
Weak sauce. Uh, Frank heads. All right, y'all. So I ended up losing the last round, but I'm not mad because literally it was a down to the wire type of game. Like literally game one, we I comboed off. I think he had Nibiru. Now he ain't Nibiru. Me. I comboed off. I um, made Dark Law. Played against Frank Kids, by the way. Robert Kramer. Best Frank Kid player, Illinois. Can't argue it. Literally, I used my Dark Law effect. Managed Carter's hand. He had t triple, triple tactical talents. Took my Dark Law. Comboed off and won. Happens. Game two. Make Dark Law first turn. I did use my effect. I won't get TTT'd. And he ended up winning. No, nah, I ended up winning. I'm sorry. Game three. Down to the freaking wire. We going back and forth. Top deck, top deck. I'm comboing. I don't, we don't have a clock in the room. I don't know how much time I got left. That's the, honestly, bro, this locals need to fix that, bro. Like, literally. They usually have a clock, but, but ever since the virus situation happened, they took the clock away. But anyway, long story short, bro. I'm so mad because literally, comboed off. We down to the wire. We both top decking. I didn't see Nibiru no game, right? So you guys already know what's gonna happen. I go battle phase, he in the main phase, Nibiru. Ugh! Hit Nibiru on the fence. I had a fat token. Token was like over 10k attack. He had 9,000 life points because he kept burning me with the um, with his prank hit cards. And literally after that, bro, I was still winning. Like he he didn't really have anything. He burned. We both damn near burned through all of our resources. He burned through more than me. And at this point, Nibiru is gonna get run over. He has a bunch of face downs that wasn't doing anything. I had cards in hand to play, and but I just didn't have time to win because literally I lost in time. Because at that point, he was just stalling to time because he was just setting pass. We were playing fast, but he was set pass. I'm running over a token. Time got called. Yeah! So technically, I probably should have won. Probably. But like a clock in the, at the shop and time being called, yeah. Into that dream. So there's no more rounds. I'm X2. Fuck. Freaking time, bro. So annoying. I might get a pack or two. I don't know, man. We're going to see what's going to happen, man. I'm going to see you guys in the next click, though. Mm! All right, guys. So I ain't getting anything. They were only giving prize into X1. I got like six places since I was X2. I'm a little disappointed only because literally freaking time is the only reason I lost. Like, I hate losing time. And I hate not having a freaking clock so I can monitor my thought process and I can make faster plays versus taking my time and getting screwed over. Also, at the end of the day, I didn't expect him to Nibiru me. I didn't see Nibiru all games. I knew he was siding it, but yeah. So, man, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, there was some foods I ain't eat yet. I guess I'm going to see you guys in the next clip. Bro, if y'all aren't eating Dorito Locos tacos, bro, best thing in the world, bro. Mmm. 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 Love Taco Bell, man. No, some people actually say... Taco Bell is their best Mexican dinner. Now they tweaking on that. Freaking nice Taco Bell, bro. But they tweaking on that. But man, this is what y'all do, right? You go to Taco Bell, nice one of these little hot sauce packets, man. Put it right here. And, and, and you know, fast food is always good when it's fresh. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. So much needed after a day of whooping ass at local. Even though I lost last round. And I lost due to a play round. I don't even know what I'm doing with this part of the vlog. I might not even include this clip. A little frustrated though, though. So. Like, literally, I'm really frustrated because literally, I had game. He was just top decking nothing. He burned through all his resources, dog. I got a 10K Nibiru token, bro. Literally. All I had to do was just, all I needed was like a solid three more minutes, dog. And I'd have won. He knows that. Kramer's cool. He's my homie. He cool. I consider him my homie. It was like, ugh, because I have a rivalry with him, bro. <laughs> he beat me the last couple of times like we played. Ever since that prank kid's got that new support. Ugh, whoop my butt. But yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm keep this in the stream, bro. Do a clip, whatever. I don't even know how long this vlog going to be, bro. Man, locals, if you guys are running locals, bro, I highly advise, because I'm doing this next time. I'm not losing in town no more, bro. I'm going to go on my phone and set a timer, bro. I'm not playing these games with these locals, bro. But this, literally, this place, they don't want to set up a camera for whatever reason. So we're not a camera clock. And near main games when they used to be open, bro. Literally. No, no, there's no clock. Oh, well, you might lose, you might not lose. Like, ugh, so freaking frustrating, bro. I'm trying to restrain myself from cursing and saying what I want. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up scoop up my son because my son wanted me to pick him up. It's for you guys that saw the live stream, you know. And I'm gonna guess I'm gonna end the stream, my, I'm gonna end the vlog when I pick my son up. And yeah, we're gonna see what happens, man. We got my final thoughts after I let everything resonate from this fresh A whooping I just got at Locals. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next clip. Bro, when I say my son is competitive, bro, my son is competitive and is a true freaking gamer. We just got in, and he, he ate some chips, hopped straight on Fortnite. Don't want to eat his food, mind you. Got him some Taco Bell, but he wants to play that Fortnite. Look at him. Hand eye court. Don't even got to look at the controller. He, he good, bro. He's on. He is on. All right, y'all. So, you guys can see I'm finishing up editing the vlog. I realized I didn't feel my outro. And your boy's been a little faded if you catch my drift. So, all I want to say is, man, I had a really freaking good time at Locals today. Even though I didn't do as well as I wanted to, I still did good enough. And I'm proud of myself to show people that Heroes is a deck to be reckoned with, man. Because every one of my Locals respect me as a player. Especially because I'm playing Heroes and doing well. Um, definitely a tier 1.5 deck. Got to prove these haters wrong, bro. Um, next week, hopefully, I can go again and come correct and not play error. But it is what it is, man. The format's the same. Um, Eldritch variants all over the place, man. So, yeah, man. Tell me what you guys think. Comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here. If you subscribe for more. It's your boy, Rogue Hero, and I'm signing out. Peace. See you guys in the next video.